so I'm having a problem where I'm in the highest bracket because um, I fall even above that. Um, and I'm having a hard time eating all my containers. I don't know if it's humanly possible. Julia, how much do you weigh? 270. Okay. And then how active are you? I have a desk job. Okay. So hold on really quick. Female is one. Higher than 220 is a six, so that's a seven. We're gonna deduct one because you're inactive. That gives me a six, and I'm gonna deduct two more for you to lean out. I get you in a four, I get you in plan D. Oh, okay. Did you, did you calculate it differently? Did you forget to deduct the actual lean out part? Maybe. Okay, <laughs> that might have been what, that might have been what happened. I'm not sure how you ended up getting yourself into plan H, but yeah, you're in plan D, 21 to 2300. That should make a significant difference. My top three goals, number one is really recommitting to my nutrition. Number two, I want to um, really increase my strength. And number three is really just about feeling good about myself. It's about increasing my confidence and being where I want to be. This morning was really tough. My alarm went off. I didn't want to get up. I was super, super sore. And I was like, oh man, like if I wasn't in this group, I'd probably say, I'm gonna do this workout later and then probably not do it. Everybody, my name is Jake. Uh, I feel really privileged to be a part of this group, really excited to get going. Life is really busy right now. Getting married in July to you know, a wonderful woman who started me on this journey, who uh, holds me accountable to all this stuff, but along with getting married and work, it's just so easy to just want to sit on the couch and come home at the end of the day and really just relax. But what's more important than just sitting down relaxing is sneaking in that 30 and 40 minutes. I'm exhausted. Just finished uh, total body. Total body chisel. I just wanted to say it's totally, totally worth it. My name is Robert Myers III. I'm 49 years old, father of four, you know, two adult children and two young children. So I, I want to be around, I want to be fit. By 50, I want to be really, really fit. So this is like the perfect way to um, begin that program, all right? I currently weigh 211 pounds. So my top three goals would be to lean out, gain some strength, gain speed, improve my balance too. My balance I found out from hammer and chisel is really off. So I really need to uh, you know, improve my core strength and improve, improve my balance. Today was um, total body and 10 minute abs. And I have to tell you, I, I really felt like I tried to kill myself today. I upped the weights, so I had to hit the pause button. There just was no way around it. The choice was either go down in weights and um, try to maintain the pace because the pace is no joke in chisel total body, but um, or to lift heavier and then take you know pauses to catch my life and hope autumn approves. But I had to, yeah, I chose to lift heavier because I do want to maintain the muscle and um, took those pauses to catch my life, but no longer than necessary, just long enough to um, breathe, find my life, and then jump right back into the routine because you still want to maintain. A serious pace. I mean, really want to push your body to the limits. Hi, everybody. My name is Julia. I'm 24 and I'm from Ontario, Canada. And my goal for these next 30 days with the chiseled ones is one, get my nutrition in check and on point. Number two is to make um, my workouts and um, exercise in general um, a habit. And number three would be. Um, to lose about 10 to 20 pounds and um, just feel good about what I've done after um, these 30 days. I know I put all my all into it and um, worked hard. Hey everybody, it's week week one of the Chiseled One is over and I couldn't be happier with my results. Um, I was only able to work out twice this week because I came down with an upper respiratory infection and was really, really sick um, up until now really. Um, so it's so true when they say nutrition is 80% and, um, 
working out as the other 20. Hey guys, Brooke Jacobic um, coming to you from Allen, Texas. Hello. Uh, a little bit after having our daughter, I was diagnosed with MS. So a huge part of this journey for me revolves around that. Um, I just want to prove to myself and my family um, and show others with a chronic illness that with determination, um, positivity, and perseverance that you can still go after your goals and achieve them. Guys, I uh, just finished the workout and the abs. Oh my goodness, I, uh, I have a long way to go on some abs as far as being able to do all of those. Oh my goodness, and I have to admit, I did hammer and chisel before, but I didn't push myself like this, and when there was an extra thing, like an extra workout, I didn't do those. Hi all, this is Dante Howard. It's an honor and a privilege to be going through these next 30 days with you all. My goals for the next 30 days are number one, to lose about 10 pounds and some inches off my waist. I have a little spare tire going on here, so I'd like to get rid of that and have a nice shirt off summer. My next goal is to follow the meal plan. Often when I go through these workout programs, I'm real good for starting it and going gung-ho that first week with the meal plan. And then at some point I end up falling off. So for these next 30 days, I'd like to keep that going the entire time. I think that'll be a great way to get the number one goal of losing the weight is to go through that meal plan. My third goal, which is probably the most important, is to have fun through this process, going through it with you all. <music> 